Our next contest is between boxers from Mozambique and Northern Ireland. Our scoring judges are from Canada, Canada Mongolia, Bosnia-Herzegovina, Bosnia, Sri Lanka and Australia. Susan Kopka of Germany is the referee. referee. In charge of the action from Germany, Susan Kopka. First to the ring, boxing out of the red corner, representing Mozambique, Armando Rogoberto Sigakwe. <laughs> Approaching the boxing ring for his Commonwealth Games debut. Seven days in, it's his first bout of Birmingham 2022. He's Armando Rugoberto Sigalque, 21 years of age from Maputo. One of a five strong Mozambique boxing team, one of two men alongside three women. And the 2021 Mozambique and national champion at 52 kilograms. Representing Northern Ireland, Dylan James. Eagleson! It's also the Commonwealth Games debut for Dylan James Eagleson, 19 years of age from Belfast. Two European Championship medals this summer at 54 kilograms. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the quarterfinal in the men's bantamweight division, contested over three three-minute rounds. Introducing to you first, boxing out of the red corner, representing Mozambique, Armando Rogoberto Sigakwe. And his opponent boxing out of the blue corner, representing Northern Ireland, Dylan James Eggleson. Heads up, no holding, no low blows. Chicken, your left. We're in the 54 kilogram bantamweight division and this is quarter-final action between boxers from Mozambique and Northern Ireland. The orthodox boxer wearing red is Armando Rugoberto Sigalque, just 21 years of age. Had a bye in the first preliminary round, the round of 16, as did his South for opponent wearing blue. And it's Dylan Eagleson, 19 years of age from Belfast, four-time All-Ireland national champion. But he's yet to take a senior crown given his tender years. But he did take European Senior Championship silver in Yerevan, Armenia, Armenia after a terrific run due to the second highest medal claim. Beautiful pick staff for left from Eagleson catching the advancing Zigalque. You can see from Zigalque's tactics here, Ronald, he knows he's got to get up close to Eagleson. He was a very skillful safe ball indeed on that back foot. And the slower the pace, it will suit the man in blue. That's why Zigokwe on that front foot trying to close that gap down with fast feet. It's not too bad there from him. That's why he's putting on the pressure. So as the contest sit, settles down, it'll be Zigokwe coming forward. And can Eagleson just slow the tempo because that will suit him. The better work from the man in red on the front foot at the moment. Scores body and head with an eye-catching left hook. Pecking and poking. While engaging reverse gear is Eagleson, terrific straight shots being whipped in from various angles. Changing direction to move clockwise now, but perhaps into the right hand of Sigalque, who continues to assert his pressure, looking to pin Eagleson to the ropes and getting to hold his feet. But Eagleson doing a good job keeping the movement going thus far. Nice right jab, beautiful left cross followed by a right uppercut. The right uppercut was caught by the gloves of the man in red. Eagleson using his skill on the back foot here, getting his timing right with these straight shots. Sigokwe still coming forward, trying to force the pressure. Maybe should be targeting the body. But at mid to long range, Eagleson very skillful indeed. Good timing 
the Northern Irish boxer. That's a Gautier just following his opponents around. See racing across the ring. But Eagleton's starting to find the target now. So it's the Gautier. Invariably, inevitably back on that front foot, but he's walked into a stiff start, poor left cross from Eagleson. He's doing a good job controlling the distance against his opponent who continues to press, but he's not having the success that he's going in search of. There he catapults off the ropes and a rear foray onto the front foot from Eagleson, and then pecking and poking with straight shots while on the back foot once again. A terrific display of back foot boxing from Dylan Eagleson. In the first three minutes of that round of that contest in the face of some non-stop pressure being applied by Sigalque. All right. I think the front foot pressure for the man in red has made it a fairly close round, but the quality shots certainly came from Eagleson. And um, I think the the better work came from the man in blue, even though most of the time he's on the back foot, but he, there were some eye catches, some good scoring blows. And um, Sigokwe, yes, did make it interesting. That pressure makes it a fairly close round, but Eagleson, for me, did the better work on the back foot. But a fairly close round. Let's have a look at the scores. A 4-1 split in favour of Eagleson, the judge from Sri Lanka preferring the front foot pressure of Stigalque. So to the second round we go. Commonwealth Games debuts for both of these young boxers. Oh, beautiful. Straight shots fired through. But then Stigalque just disregarding the shots that are coming in his direction and had success with his punch picking during the trade-off that ensued. And back onto the front foot once again. Beautiful straight shots once again, but Sigalque remaining in the pocket. And after Eagleson had finished, Sigalque letting his own hands go. So he's giving you the impression that he's a fighter, a boxer, who obviously doesn't want to take punches, but he's not averse to taking them to land his own. When Eagleson is hitting and he's moving, then he's very difficult to catch indeed. But once his movement's restricted, once he gets back to the ropes or the corners, then occasionally he just holds his feet, and that just allows Sigokwe to catch him with the odd shot here and there. That's why you'll see Eagleson just, just grab him on the inside, just to nullify the work and stop the attacks. But from centre ring, and once he's move, moving, Eagleson's the better boxer, because he's hitting the move, but you see, as soon as he stops that movement, holds the feet, just allows Sigalque to come in and really brings him into the contest. So the movement's very important here for Eagleson. Sigalque keeps on coming, targeting body and head. Hard left hand whipped into the body from Eagleson. Nice movement off the ropes to ensure that he remains in the space of the boxing ring. Single shot score once again. See, see, see. Sigalque attempt to counter it, but he cannot close the gap because Eagleson's doing an outstanding job of keeping the movement going and remaining in the space of the boxing ring. Sigalque trying to back into the corner, but like smoke, Eagleson escaping once again. Terrific work as he bends and weaves at the waist to avoid the leather that he's been fired in his direction. What a left uppercut! While Sigalque was letting his own hands go, his head was rocked backwards by a beautifully picked shot on the inside from Eagleson. Yeah, the quality of the punching is with the man from, uh, from Northern Ireland. Lovely shots that he's throwing, the accuracy. Zagaukwe, volume, yes. There's a lot, that, a lot that's missing the target, Ronald, here from the man in red. On that front foot still, but Eagleson here has boxed a, a very good contest indeed. Back foot boxing, but he's chiming. Like that shot there, that's an example of it. Very good indeed. Continuing to dance and dodge and dart left and right as he was trying to employ the layback. He was caught by a clamping left hook from Sigalque, who is continuing to apply non-stop unrelenting pressure. Both boxers now breathing through mouths that are open because they are giving absolutely everything. Sigalque on the front foot catches Eagleson as he's trying to dance away. He in invariably on the back foot covering an awful lot of mileage in the boxing ring. There's still a round to go, and both boxers are going to require this 60-second interval 
to get the energy levels back up. What an action-packed round. Eagleson boxing beautifully on the back foot. Some lovely boxing from the Northern Irishman here on that back foot, handling these uh, attacks that's coming forward. The odd shot got through from Sigao Kwe, and you've got to give him 10 out of 10 for effort, but the quality of his work just isn't up to Eagleson's. Eagleson's eye-catching shot, it's more judge-friendly. You can see the head shoot back when he throws out those those fast, sharp counters, punches like that. Good, good shot from him. I thought it was a better round for this man, although Sigao Kwe just kept coming. First round was a 4-1 split. The second round is a clean sweep of the cards for Eagleton. All five judges returning 10-9 verdicts in his favour. So into the third and final round then. How well will the boxers' energy levels have recovered after that 60-second intermission? Because at the end of the second round, they were both feeling the effects of their exertion. A little bit of showboating from Eagleton. Sigalpoe says, OK, well, I'm continuing to keep coming. And now Eagleton trying to get under the skin of the boxer from Mozambique, almost olaying as he makes his man miss. But make no mistake, Sigalpoe will remain committed to his task and continues his unrelenting advance. And now Eagleson mocking him, swinging and missing as he's intimating. That's what Sigalpoe is doing. Here he's caught by a right hand from Sigalpoe who continues to press despite being goaded by Eagleson who is trying to ruffle the man from Mozambique. And again, he's continuing to escape like Houdini. He's Eagleson bending and weaving at the waist through the first minute of this third round. Sigalque continuing to get on the front foot and nearly landed with a hard right hand and then catches Eagleson with a left. Eagleson bobbing and weaving on the ropes before claiming his man and walking him back to the space of centre ring. Yeah, just reminding him that he's still in the contest, isn't he? Sigalque just keeps coming forward. It was a good shot that he caught Eagleson with on the ropes. I think Eagleson has just dropped down a gear, knows he's ahead here, and, and that's why he's on that back foot. Not a lot coming from the man in blue now. Just playing safe, really. It's about management, but fair play to Sigalque. He's still coming strong. So again, midway through this third and final round, both boxers feeling the pace. But Eagleston managing to keep his reflexes sharp. Movement has slowed down, so too as Sigalque, but Sigalque continuing to walk his opponent down. Eagleston looking to buy time and bother his man with his gestures once again. Pecking right hand on the back foot landed by Eagleston. You can see Eagleston's mouth wide open, but he's keeping his wits about him. Mentioned the fact that he took European senior silver in Yerevan, Armenia, Eagles, and he also took European under 22 bronze in Croatia. And his performances really caused something of a stir on the international boxing scene. None other than world champion Carl Frampton, two weight world champion out of Belfast, who's been on record saying that he's a big admirer of this talented teenager. I think what's encouraging for boxers who, who box on the back foot here is Eagleson has put in a really good display. As long as you're hitting the target as the opponent's coming forward, then the judges have got to score for you. Some judges don't like the back foot boxing, but here you've got to you've got to give him a lot of credit. That was a good display, handling the attacks coming forward and judge-friendly boxing in that when he throws out his shots, he's jolting the head back of his opponent. So you've got to score for him. That's a good display from Eagleson. Might not be everyone's cup of tea, but you know, it's horses for courses. He's fought to his strength, and that is good foot uh, very good back foot boxing. And he's just uh, running the clock down here in this last round. Done his better work in the opening two rounds, but it's a similar pattern on that back foot. But as long as you're scoring, then they have got to award you. And that's what he's done here. Good performance from Eagleson. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision for your winner. In the blue corner, representing Northern Ireland, Dylan James Eagleson. So after a wait of seven days in this battle of Commonwealth Games debutants, it is Northern Ireland's Dylan Eagleson.
who progressed us through to the medal rostrum. Terrific performance of back foot boxing. Armando Rugoberto Sigalque of Mozambique never stopped pressing from opening bell to last. Continued to believe that he could find what would be the knockout shot to take him through to the semi-final stage. But Dylan Eagleston remained sharp with his reflexes throughout the entirety of the contest. Sigalque had his moments, but the back foot boxing of Eagleston rewarded, and he goes through to the final four and the medal platform in the bantamweight division. Right from round one, the pattern was set here for the Northern Irish boxer Eagleston on that back foot and handling the attacks coming from his opponent. I think overall, 